What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So what do you do when your crown's been put in the panel shop and you can't go and drive it? You go and buy a new set of 19 inch wheels. <laughs> so my plan is I'm gonna shoot out. I found this guy with some cheap 19, still got tires on them, still got air in them, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna grab those and then when I can, I'm gonna shoot into the panel shop, take my 20s, put it on the 19s and then I'm thinking about going and getting the 20s refurbished so that when the car comes back from the panel shop or mint condition, the wheels are going to be mint condition, chuck them on, and it is going to come back with a vengeance. So let's go. It's about an hour away. We'll head down, grab these rims, and I'll show you exactly what they look like. That was a surprisingly long drive. Uh, rain, traffic, Melbourne, you know, it's like, if you're not here, well, that's what it's like, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> just takes forever to get anywhere, but all good. Um, got the wheels, they're in surprisingly good condition. One of them has hit a pothole, that's all good because as much as I'm like, yeah, buy 19s, they're just for rollers. They're literally just to hold air and put the car on so I can take my 20s back and go and get them refurbished. Um, yeah, so let's show you what I got. All right, so unfortunately they're not like some fully sick drift wheels. They're these G-Max Sports, uh, 19 by, I'm gonna say like eight, nothing crazy. Um, as you can see, there's the damage. Oh yeah, PS, everyone, welcome to the hire car. Little Kia Sportage, loving it, but fits wheels, so all good. Yeah, that's the damage. It's holding air and it can roll around. I'm not gonna be driving it, driving it on these at all, so all good, nothing to worry about. Um, yeah, pretty happy with the little purchase. Pretty happy. Oh, and I, I didn't explain actually why I need 19. So um, I do have the stock wheels for the Crown, uh, the 17s that came with it, and that's all well and good. And I really appreciate getting them with it. But the issue is with a low down kit, which I should have put in that video, so I'm sorry if I didn't, but thank you if you're watching this video and you watch that one. With a low down kit, even the 30 mil ones, if you put a 30 mil kit on the front, you can no longer use your 17s. Um, I tried it and my 17 fit on, but then the wheel doesn't turn. So if you're gonna go a low down kit of 30 mil, you have to go a 18 inch or higher. And um, I wonder if a 50, yeah. If you go a 50 mil, I'd say you're gonna have to run 19s and higher. So bear that in mind, guys, if you are gonna run low down kits. So I need one of these uh, for my boot and the crown, no matter what because I do need a 19 inch spare. Well, I need an 18 or above, and these are really cheap. So I'm gonna run that as a spare. So I was gonna set you guys up in the car um, and take you for a spin with me and stuff, but it was so dark, you wouldn't have been able to see me. You would have seen like a creepy reflection of my face and then just watching me karaoke all the way there and all the way back. So it wasn't really any point, but at least you can see like kind of like what I've got and my plan. And it's gonna be really good for when I wanna rebuild the rims on the Supra as well. It's another set I can just chuck the car on so it's actually sitting there doing something. So it's actually sitting there on some wheels instead of just like jack stands or whatever, I can roll it around if I need to. So seeing as though both the Toyotas, both of the same stud pattern, all good, thought I'd grab them. They only cost me 200 bucks. So 200 bucks with tires and the tires are actually pretty good. So that's good. Uh, so just an update on the crown, what's going on with that. The assessor's come out, he checked everything out. Uh, they're still trying to get the quote together because the front bumper, the back bumper, the boot lid, the panels behind the back bumper, all of that stuff, all has to come from Japan. Um, even though obviously we have Toyota here in Melbourne, um, they don't have the proper listings and stuff, or they don't have the stock um, or, the, or anything like that in Australia, obviously, because it's Japanese cars, so they had to go through their Japanese system, if that's a thing, um, and then, yeah, ship it in. So I think, I think all the stuff has to get shipped into this guy into New South Wales who, don't, who brings in parts from Japan and then it comes to Melbourne, something like that. I don't know. I'm letting them deal with it all. It's not up to me anymore. They know all my stuff. They know the bumpers, they know the, the bits and bobs that they need. So they're gonna grab it all and they're just gonna give it back to me. Perfect. So that's where we're at. So the quote isn't finalized yet, uh, but when he finalizes it, obviously he submits that uh, and all that sort of thing. The guy, obviously, that hit me has, you know, set up all his insurance and got it all 
going ahead because I've got the hire car. Um, I'm assuming that it's like some sort of um, like work order system. So then they can charge the hire car to that uh, insurance claim work order kind of thing and all the fixing of the car as well. But as I get more updates, I will let you guys know. I'll also let you guys know when I have the 20s, what I do with the 20s, all that sort of stuff. And I'll kind of take you along on that little journey as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, next video will be back off the vlog, more into car related stuff. Uh, specifically, I'll be doing some stuff on the Supra. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Um.